Hello, my name is Ufer Blinski. I am from the Institute of Geophysics Polish Academy of Science. And today I'll show you a very short presentation about seismology and earthquakes. So if you know something about seismology, you have some imagination, so you can try to uh, explain what uh, is a seismology. Uh, uh, so anyway, here you can find a very official um, definition of, of, the, of, of the seismology. So what is seismology? Seismology is the scientific study of earthquakes and the propagation of elastic waves through the earth. In this presentation, I will try to show you and explain very good information concerning uh, earthquakes and also uh, elastic and also um, uh, uh, elastic waves, seismic waves. So let's uh, consider seismology. What is seismology and what is an earthquake? So, earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the Earth, uh, resulting from the sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates uh, uh, seismic waves. What or how we observe uh, earthquakes? As you probably know, we observe uh, earthquakes using some kind of plots, uh, which are called seismograms. Here you can you can see an example of such seismograms. Seismology, uh, very basic div uh, division. So we can divide seismology into uh, source physics. It means a mm, uh, seismology which uh, deals with the uh, of the seismic event, so high center, epicenter, uh, mechanism uh, of seismic event, um, uh, parameters, physical parameters or, or source, um, the source. And so, and uh, the second part of seismology is uh, mm, science, which deals with uh, earth structures uh, to obtain some information about uh, about structure of the earth from the size uh, up down down to down to the center of the earth. And this of uh, of uh, knowledge of pieces uh, are joined together to obtain some information about seismic hazard and seismic risk. To obtain information, uh, how we can avoid such kind of very difficult and dangerous situation like uh, damages and, and so on. So the, there is a, a, a very interesting question: uh, whether mm, we can mm, forecast earthquake or not. Let's talk about it a little bit and uh, find uh, an answer. So I think it's very interesting to, to show you how how we can um, explain the uh, structure of the Earth. So we used uh, we used here a um, hypocenter in the source of the earthquake, same way very different. Uh, I'll show you a very basic uh, division of seismic waves uh, later. But the seismic waves, which are which are recorded on on, on uh, seismic stations, uh, as are seismograms, are used to obtain information about lithosphere, and crust, outer core, and inner core. Okay. Now let's think a little bit of. Uh, about seismic hazard, seismic risk, and uh, and uh, and uh, forecasting. So, uh, uh, what we can do as a seismologist, we can provide that information uh, about seismic hazard. Seismic hazard is a is a kind of bullet uh, that in a given position, in a given location, uh, the ground shaking exceed some uh, some level uh, and this information can be later uh, used by uh, engineers to build uh, uh, um, building structures which are uh, which are less uh, um, which are less influenced by ground shaking very interesting another feature of seismology is a uh, early work Warning system. So early warning system is a um, system when we 
seismic waves recorded on different uh, seismic stations to have information that something happened. Something happened, and in a very short time, it means some uh, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, maybe half a minute. Uh, in a given position, it will be a ground shaking. Uh, there is a film, it is a movie, which are um, on the internet, and uh, it is uh, on the packets, and uh, you can um, see uh, example of the of such kind of early warning uh, in Japan during um, strong, very big uh, earthquake uh, from 2011. So it's from uh, and after time, uh, you will see that uh, in this room everything um, will shake. Okay, let's back to 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 the presentation. Now is a question: Are it forecast earthquakes or not? So, what does it mean uh, forecast earthquake? It means that we look look for location, specific time, and specific uh, uh, size of the earthquake. So, it means that we want to know where, when, and how big will be an earthquake. So, is it possible to forecast? What do you think? Uh, at least now it is not possible. So now some basic information about seismology. So let's go to, to seismicity. Uh, how uh, the seismicity? We can divide it into uh, at least two uh, two pieces. So uh, first one is the natural seism seismicity, which is connected, uh, generally speaking, with geology and tectonics, uh, with uh, uh, and earth. Earthquakes uh, usually occurred on um, some kind of discontinuity in the, into the crust, uh, which are called uh, faults. We have um, at least three basic kind uh, um, of faults, normal uh, uh, from the left to the right, uh, in the middle is uh, thrust or reverse fault, and um, on the um, on the Right, uh, um, uh, strike fault. Usually, this kind, this strike slip fault is somehow mixed with with normal and or trust fault, and we obtain so-called uh, oblique fault. Another example of natural seismicity is a um, volcano seismicity. This city is usually uh, observed on on, on uh, volcanic area, not usually. Uh, always observed on, uh, on volcanic area, and is a little bit different from tectonic um, uh, tectonic seismicity. Uh, generally speaking, uh, uh, seismicity, natural seismicity connected with tectonics is the strongest uh, seismicity we can observe on the Earth. Question is, for um, what was the biggest earthquake observed on the Earth? Uh, ever. Let's try to think about this. Okay, so, uh, now let's um, say some words about this seismicity. This seismicity is a seismicity um, which is triggered by human activities. We can have uh, lots of human activities which uh, which are connected with uh, with um, seismicity. Uh, for example. We have exploration of georesources. Here we have uh, ground mining, open pit mining, or extraction of georesources like oil and gas. Mm. So, seismicity, which is uh, connected with uh, reservoir impoundment, and uh, when we fulfill this kind of uh, facilities with water, you have all that. Um, uh, we expect that this kind of activity can uh, trigger uh, can trigger earthquake uh, with a magnitude uh, about seven. So so it is uh, quite quite big. And the 
last but not least, uh, is a very interesting um, part of uh, English seismicity, forensic seismology. When we in this in this uh, in this um, part of English seismicity, we we are with, with um, uh, nuclear tests, uh, uh, which are uh, observed. Uh, using seismological station all over the world. This is uh, even uh, important today when we have a um, te test, um, for example, on uh, North Korea. Let's, let's, let's look through the, um, through the um, natural seismology. Here we have a um, tectonic. tectonic uh, when you look at the map, with uh, epicenters of uh, tectonic earthquakes, uh, which were occurred uh, in some period of time, you will see that these epicenters, uh, uh, some kind of shape. And shape is not, uh, um, the, this shape is connected with something. Actually, it's connected with a border between uh, tectonic so, uh, uh, as you can see here, seismology helps us to understand how uh, uh, our Earth, our lithosphere is built. Uh, now we know that um, it's built with um, uh, several tectonic plates, and uh, maybe you can see on the maps uh, uh, how they look like and uh, where uh, they are. So we know uh, information about seismology. We know uh, how we can divide seismology. Now we can uh, focus on seismic observations. Um, as I said, we are ready to record or observe earthquakes using some kind of plots or Graph. Uh, they, the, 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 these plots are known as uh, seismograms, but uh, first of all, we have to measure it. So uh, the history of, uh, of seismic observations are is very very long. First, some kind of seismometers uh, were developed uh, more than 2,000 years ago. China, when they used uh, some kind of uh, devices which are called seismoscopes, these, these devices are not. Uh, no, these devices were not ready to 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 uh, some kind of plots like seismograms, but have, um, possibilities to obtain to, to to provide information uh, about the direction of the of the seismic uh, seismic wave. Uh, More than 100 years ago, we used another kind of devices, which were called seismographs. Seismographs. It means a seismometer and uh, devices which uh, can draw a seismogram. Uh, so these kind of uh, devices were very nice, but have uh, one disadvantage, namely they use a very heavy pendulum. Uh, to measure uh, ground shaking. This pendulum uh, was very heavy and uh, has had uh, 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 more than one, usually out or even more than one ton. So uh, you can see that um, this, this kind of devices uh, were not, it was not very easy to move these uh, seismographs from one place to another. We, we can use devices which are known as seismometers. These devices are very small. Uh, um, of, of the design of the um, device is, uh, uh, is comparable with a uh, So these monitors are uh, digital devices which use uh, um, of uh, 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 
and electricity to obtain information uh, at the ground is shaking. And uh, seismoscopes, seismographs, and seismometers, digital seismometers work work uh, uh, in the same manner. Let's say or the the, the is the same. So here can you you can see here. Um, Seismometer works. So you can see here a ground, you see a frame, and you can see a, um, uh, you can see a at the frame. Uh, this weight some hundred years ago uh, was very heavy with uh, um, one ton, as I said, or, or even more. Uh, now uh, this pendulum is not sorry because it is inside the uh, inside a uh, digital seismometer. Okay, but I that uh, during uh, ground shaking uh, this stay in the same place, everything is shaking, and we can obtain some information about about. Uh, how ground shaking, so about earthquake. The uh, movie is also attached to, to the face, so you can look through it more than once. Okay, now we know we, we can measure uh, ground shaking. So it means now, now we know how we can measure seismic waves. Now let's say some word about seismic waves. So the wave is the wave that travels through the Earth's layer from the core center of the starting point to the seismic station. We have two basic uh, seismic waves. Uh, that means we have a P wave and we have a S wave. P wave is a primary primary wave. It means um, the first wave, which uh, which is recorded on the seismogram. S wave. Is a secondary wave and is recorded as a, as a second on the seismogram, and because of that, we have this kind of uh, names. Okay, these two, two waves are uh, a little different um, from each other. So, P wave is a wave when the particles in the solid vibrate along the axis of propagation, and the first wave, as I said, from an earthquake, we recorded on the seismogram. Uh, are a little bit different, and um, the X wave moves as a zero or transfer wave, uh, so motion is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. This two kind of waves travel with uh, different velocities, so it is uh, faster than X wave. Okay, we have also um, uh, surface waves uh, which not travel through the Earth but rather. On the surface, and we have here uh, two kinds of um, uh, presented here two kinds of surface waves uh, that is uh, Rayleigh wave and low, low, low wave. Uh, what is important to know? Uh, you know uh, that uh, you have to know that uh, these surface waves are the most important during an earthquake, so it means this, this two. The surface wave close to close to epicenter, not at the, at the epicenter, but close to, close to epicenter, are connected with uh, uh, damages, uh, um, which which are uh, caused by by an uh, by an earthquake. I asked you uh, about um, how was this earthquake on the earth. So oh, you can you can uh, you can um, answer this question uh, because uh, now we are dealing with uh, measuring of the size of an earthquake. So we have uh, here we have two um, two scales to obtain such information. The first scale is intensity scale when we measure the effect of an earthquake. Uh, uh, on the um, Earth surface, uh, so we use some.
some kind of uh, subject, subject opinion how earthquake, how big was earthquake, yes, uh, and uh, here we can have uh, I think we can have uh, a Mercalli scale. Uh, another way to measure uh, earthquake size is a magnitude scale, uh, when magnitude is determined from the measurement uh, of seismograms. We have a lot of um, different uh, magnitude scale. The most uh, known is a local magnitude, which is called a Richter scale. Other um, magnitude scales are moment magnitude, body weight magnitude, surface weight magnitude, and so on and so on. What is uh, what is not to know? Uh, what is uh, important to know is that this magnitude scale is not linear. It is logarithmic scale, so it means that an earthquake with uh, an earthquake with magnitude six um, is uh, uh, larger than earthquake with magnitude uh, five, and uh, ten times smaller with an earthquake with magnitude seven. Also, uh, very interesting. Um, this Mercalli scale. You can you can uh, you can see how uh, we can try uh, the ground shaking and uh, what it means in a, uh, what it means in a, in a scale. So what is a degree in a Mercalli scale? And, uh, uh, also, I encourage you to to look for the uh, ES Plus platform. This is a e tool when you can uh, deal with uh, real seismometers, real seismograms, real earthquakes uh, induced uh, by human activity uh, from uh, from Europe, uh, but also uh, from uh, Vietnam. Thank you for your attendance and uh, have a nice.